Here you doing? Japanese people are inclined to get caught up in a very unique morality, even though it has unreasonability, and it is far from rationality seen from outside. So, they have a habit to take advantage of the argument of appeal to tradition, which I talked on the other video. And like we we've, we've been following this web doing for a long time, so this is a correct method or something like that. So they have no room to doubt unreasonability of the rule they made and the custom they've ever taken over for a long time. So I can't say Japanese people are really hard-headed conservatives. So they tend to unconditionally give priority to custom and tradition without making effort to change something in accordance with the times rather than pursuing rationality. And they tend to push their sense of value and morality and ethics to other people, regardless Japanese people or non-Japanese people in the same way. So they often use a proverb to foreigners, like when in Rome, do as the Romans do. So this is a very famous proverb that you probably know. So this proverb was originally made by travelers and outsiders that admonished themselves to accept custom of the country they enter into. But this is not a proverb used by people in a host country. So, but Japanese people often use this proverb to foreigners coming to Japan as a get out of jail free card in order to push their rules and customs to foreigners. So we have strong peer pressure that normally makes normally makes them believe majority thought is justice without having room to think if it has a certain you know reasonability and rationality in it. So those who visited Japan before may realize there is no garbage beans everywhere in public places around Japan. So all the municipalities in Japan took garbage bins away from public places for the superficial reason that they are wary of terrorism, like someone may plant a bomb inside bins. But to tell the truth, the rules as a strong stereotype of social consensus or common sense that garbage has to be taken back home is strongly controlled by strong and reasonable or peer pressure in Japan. You know, this rule, rule controlled by Japanese peer pressure changed the attitude of municipalities that originally had used to set garbage bins in public places as one of the, you know, public services in Japan. So this Japanese people's biased social con consensus resulted in making municipalities take free ride on no garbage bin policy one after another without no one inspecting what happened if garbage bins are removed perfectly from entire public places. So, so if they can save time by not setting guard garbage bins around Japan and taking garbage away as a public services because social consensus tells them not not to do this nothing is easier than doing nothing about it so this is really so municipalities are really lazy about it so Japanese social consensus that forces us to take garbage back home forces us to tolerate an inconvenience at the same time so nothing is more unreasonable than we must keep holding garbage of food that we bought at a convenience store or somewhere until we go back home. So people think that they want to throw garbage away right now in their mind actually. But peer pressure makes them hesitate to think this way. So moreover, from the viewpoint of economic, economic circulation, no garbage bin policy is no good for Japanese economy. So simply speaking, if people recognize that there is no gar garbage bin everywhere in public places around Japan, they tend not to buy unnecessary stuff as much as possible on their way at convenience store or, or something. 
because they want to avoid to keep taking garbage inside their back until they go back home. If thinking this way, uh, people's purchasing power goes really down and this fact directly influences Japanese economy. And in, the, in this context, there is a risk that this policy may deprive tourists coming to Japan, visiting Japan, of purchasing mo motivation in touring spots, especially taking garbage created by eating and walking back to hotel is not realistic. You, you may understand this situation. So if Japanese society encourages tourists to take all the garbage garbages created back to hotel with, without exception, reduction of the number of tourists in Japan is inevitable. Of course, this factor also seriously influences Japanese economy. So I don't understand why Japanese people don't question about what kind of influence is given by the rule in which they place absolute trust. And I don't understand why Japanese people don't discuss if the rule is truly maintained in a society without thinking about custom or tradition. And I don't understand why why Japanese people feel skip why Japanese people don't feel skeptical about the situation where they only have to obey the rule controlled by peer pressures. So they really have to think everything logically and they all they always think about rationality and reasonability about the problem they have.